stopped recording before I got a chance to finish. What the fuck? Okay then, because I start after I showed like what the book looked like, somewhere it stopped and I kept talking to myself for like another two, three minutes. So, um, yeah, it's just a blank notebook so I didn't draw on it. Um, it's really cool because it says Panic at the Disco Inside. Uh, oh. That's just a paper with their birthdays on it. Um, it's got this little thing that came with the inside. It says Panic at the Disco, CD, DVD, Limited Addiction. That's what I get for trying to talk too fast. CD, DVD, Limited Edition, Collector's Deluxe Box. Includes live performance plus documentary DVD. A Phoebe Can't Sweat Out CD, lyrics card, summer of 2006 program, poster, pentagraph, I, I don't know how to pronounce that, but this, this is what it is. Oh, crap. This is what it is, I think. It's like P E H P A mosquito. See that guy? He tried to bite me. Dead now, though. Um, yeah, photos, blank, blank diary, marked newspaper, mask, certificate of authenticity. And that's the book. Um, and since I have everything out, I might as well just show some of the CDs that I have. Uh, Putting this stuff away real quick. Takes a second. Looking at all the mess you need. Cover me in gasoline again. Alright. Since everything I had to, in order to get the box out, I had to, like, take all my CDs out, so, um, can't get the disco CDs, fear you can't sweat out, Piad, vices and virtues, and uh, too weird to live, too weird to die. Uh, one second, i whip out the rest of this stuff. I got Panic at the Disco the Lowdown, which I thought was going to be some sort of DVD, but it's a CD set. Which, it also came with the Maximum, which, there's a poster in here, but it looks exactly like this. So just imagine this bigger. Um, so that came with that, but I only took it out because I got the My Chemical Romance Maximum. So I was like, oh, let's put them together. Uh... Now, since we are moving on to My Chemical Romance, I have, I know, it's surprising when I have this. This is, like, really hard to find. I tried to find it for years. Anyways, I have, I brought you my bullets, you brought me your love. Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. The Black Parade, which happens to be one of my favorites. And Danger Days, The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys. Along with my chemical romance, we have the uh, life on a murder scene, which opens like that. Like this. And for people who didn't know, because I surely didn't, there is a CD. And the side thing, which I did not know about. Because, um, I think there's a paper. Yeah, and it says CD right here. And I was like, where's the CD at? I didn't see a CD in there. All I seen was the two. And I was like, what? And I pulled it out. I was like, oh, there it is. Um, there's a little saying on here, which is kind of cute. Um, you hold in your hands the story of five kids who've had, who've had their dreams come true and would uh, like to dedicate this release to our families and loved ones who believed in us from the beginning. 
to all of our friends who work tirelessly to keep MCR dangerous and to the fans. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of our black, our black little hearts for staying so pure, so passionate, and so strong. Your belief in us is amendable, and for that, we love you entirely. XOXO MCR. That's that one. Um, we also got The Black Parade is Dead. Which is pretty much the same exact thing. There's no extra CDs. But it does have the DVD and Black Parade CD. And uh, this doesn't have lyrics, it's just a little picture book. No cute sayings in it though. So that's, that's cool. Whatever. It's not like my life depends on it. Um, then this is the Live in Chicago box. So it's CD, DVD that I got. Does I got this before I got the other one. Um, May Death Never Stop You. With its wristband thingy. I got this with the box set, so I also got a t-shirt. So... Um, next, we're moving on to Fall Out Boy. I do not have all the Fall Out Boy CDs, but I'm working on it. But to start, I got From Under a Cork Tree. For the Do. Infinity on High. Save Rock and Roll. American Beauty, American Psycho. I also have the uh, My Heart Will Always Be on the B Side of My Tongue. And live in Phoenix. Ah, it's starting to get a lot of control. Um, just to get it over with, I have Hesitant Aliens from Broadway. And um, now we got Paramore CDs. I got All We Know Is Falling, Riot, Brand New Eyes. Comic wise, um, uh, yeah, this is not the one I thought it was going to Just looking for this one. This is where it started with the kill three. And then one, two, three. No, it's six. This one's five. Six. There we go. Oh, yeah. Um, we got my chemical romance, a road less traveled. My chemical romance reading festival 2011, which, by the way, kind of pissed me off because it doesn't actually have this performance on it. It's a different performance. So. Just letting y'all know. Um, Taste of Chaos Tour. And Fall Out Boy DVD Collector's Box. Um, there's other things in the box, but it's not band related. Like my Alice in Wonderland book. Really good. I recommend. Of course, why do you care? Um, Daryl Dixon playing cards. Daryl Dixon wand of toy. And this little heart thing that I got from a little um, shop thing. Glass. Souvenir. And uh, yeah, that's. That's everything. So 
I hope you guys had a uh, super duper 4th of July, which if you didn't know, today is the 4th of July. Well, actually, it, I don't know what time it is, so it might not be today today, but it would be yesterday. I was going to look on my phone, but I don't know where it went. I'm using it. Anyways, um, so, I hope you guys had a great 4th of July. What the fuck's on the cover? Look at it, what the fuck? Do you see that scratch? I don't know where that came from. That was, uh. So anyways, I hope you had a great 4th of July, and what other, what other holidays? Coming up. Ah, you don't care. I'll probably bring them up later, though. Uh, where did this sticker come from? This sticker. I'm getting off track. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, night, week, year, I don't know. Um, I hope you like my backgrounds, which you can't really see, but it's a supernatural boondock saints. Um, Daryl Dixon. Yeah. There's others on there. Batman, Supernatural, Batman against that. But that's not the only posters I have, though. They're on the other walls, and I'd rather not show you those because then you can see the rest of my trashed room. But I have Frozen's Elsa, um, Twilight poster. But I refuse to take it down because I got that in a box set and I spent a lot of money on that box set so I'm not going to pull it off the ceiling. It's not like paper, it's like sheet. Okay, I paid like 25 bucks, but that's only because that was the only one there was. I couldn't get the original DVD for Breaking Dawn Part 1 without having to buy the Wedding Edition one. Um, and then I got a Ninja Turtle one. So, still pretty cool. But yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not going to waste any more of y'all's time. Sorry, I wasted 12 minutes, depending on if you watch this one after the one, because then it'd be like 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys whenever.